Shmoly, it's that time again. Continuing in our series of playing Terrible Nations in Hearts of Iron 4, boy do we have a doozy for you today, but I will note that I am using Road to 56 this time just to make it a bit more spicy. Also of course, before we start, feel free to subscribe to the channel if you watch my videos and haven't subscribed so far as at 200,000 subscribers, you get to see my ugly piece of shit face. Also, you know, you, you get like no notifies when I upload videos. So if, if you've watched loads of my videos and you haven't subscribed, which is a fucking lot of you apparently, please subscribe. Why yes, World War II, that one time that Germany thought being a naughty boy was a good thing to do. But that isn't anything compared to when Italy decided to invade Ethiopia. Mussolini is the naughtiest boy around. Hail Selassie! In fact, no, don't hail me, I've had a bit of a rough experience with fascists considering they're currently invading my entire country. But not anymore, it's time we send Mussolini and his tortellini gang back home to Italy. Step one of beating the Italians when they're invading in your country. That's right, it's to run away. Everybody knows that pasta doesn't have legs, so how the fuck are they gonna catch up with me? You'd think there'd be more of a repercussion for dropping 17 units in the mountains and leaving them there for most of the game now, but you'd be wrong. It's completely fine. Fuck Santa Claus. Oh wait, no, that's not what it means. A hoody doo I'm Mussolini, and if I keep shooting this mountain, surely at some point it'll collapse, right? Right? I'm trying to go up the mountain, but I'm just falling down from all the spaghetti that spilt from my fallen brothers. Oh, I accidentally got rid of the event, but yeah, Hitler's dead, and... So everybody say hello to Himmler. I'm sure this won't go absolutely terribly. It definitely will. With Hitler out the way, I'm going to go ahead and try to get some German support. You see, Hitler probably wouldn't have accepted this, as he was very much hashtag team pasta, but Himmler's definitely... Not after seeing these casualties. Perfect! 16,000 German guns have just appeared out of the middle of nowhere. Where exactly they came from? Nobody knows! Hell, we're in the middle of a fucking Italian lasagna sandwich here and there's no way you can get anything in. Well, with over 300,000 dead Italians and a bunch of German equipment, I've managed to train some new units and I think it's very much time for our army to push the Italians back to hell. Where where they belong. Although I think in Italian, hell's pronounced a bit differently. I think it's called Naples or no, no, Sicily. So if you're looking for a strat at home on how to win the war in Road to 56, I've basically shown you to this point and as soon as you've captured this port with your newly trained army, you can just wait for the Italians to wither away. Unsurprisingly, the Italians have decided to run away and we get the choice of stealing their land and turning it into our land. After the Italians have withered away because of no supply, feel free to just go ahead and brutally murder them with your army. Remember, no spaghetti. After taking out the bulk of their army, the rest is a piece of pie that's amore. Just remember to clean up nicely after you're done playing because everybody knows tomato sauce is a hell of a thing to get out. Start a colonial empire, they said. It'll be easy, they said. You won't lose two times. With the north cleaned up, the rest of the Italians have decided to run away back to Italy, which is probably the smart move after witnessing 500,000 of their brothers die in a mountain, mostly due to accident from slipping down. And once you've pushed them out far enough, you'll be able to use the national focus which pieces you out with Italy. But if you're not playing Road to 56, then you will be at war with Italy for the rest of the game, which actually isn't that, that bad really, because they, they don't really come back after losing their dignity so badly to a mountainside. And there we go, we've managed to go ahead and push the Italians back to where they belong and got ourselves a nice country and some new land all to ourselves. Look at me, I am the colonizer now. And boy do I plan on colonizing a lot of fucking shit all right, you fucking colonists. How dare you colonize what I want to colonize. Give me all your stuff. But why would I do that? Because I said so. Well, I guess I can't beat that logic. Meanwhile, on the actual main stage of international politics, Himmler decides to go to war with France in 1938. I told you I'd fuck shit up. Good news, I asked the British very kindly to give me all their land, to which they said, sure. 
Why wouldn't we do that? That seems completely fair for us and everybody involved that you should just take all this land. Good news everybody, whilst cleaning up all the tomato sauce spilled over my country, we found some rubber under the mountain. I can't believe it. Oh my god. A large oil field development. And guess what we're producing in the oil fields? <laughs> It's rubber! I want you to stop this. Why do you do the things that you do? Why? Why can't you beat Denmark but you can take us proof? Well, since my focus tree gives me nothing to do other than invade worthless shitholes, I'm going to invade all these worthless shitholes. Oh, look, that's where we put the oil field. We put it in Yemen. How could I confuse that? A large man. Don't mind me, Omen. I'm just here to prospect for oil in your country because I keep losing oil fields somewhere. A piece of oil. Who could have seen that one coming? Boy, we're getting a nice bit of oil and land. Himmler's probably thinking to himself in Berlin right now. Hey, I'm the best person for the job. This couldn't have gone any better. Meanwhile, though, Ethiopia sees no purpose in itself other than to just invade countries next to it. Because what else do I do? <laughs> What's that? That's a lot of oil. <laughs> I mean, I have nothing to do with the fucking oil because I can't produce anything other than guns, but hey! Can we just take a moment to look at Iraq's leader and appreciate the fact that he decided to have his first name as his last name because he liked his first name so much? Well, you know what they say, it's impossible to invade Iraq and not have it go well! I feel like I've got that quote a little bit wrong. And Turkey's invited me to their cool group of countries that are being invaded by the Soviet Union. But pro tip, I I'm doing more of the invading than the being invaded. Yeah, you know, I'm sure there was no one that could have done the job a bit better than Himmler. I mean, this is the best possible outcome. I'm going to get revenge on all these Western countries that colonize Africa. Start starting with Bulgaria, the famous colonizer. <laughs> right, guys, how should we go about punishing Germany for starting World World War II. Well, I've got a great idea. How about we make them release half of Austria? Yeah, I know it sounds a little bit tough on them, but they need to be punished and they've already started another war. What? They've already started another war? Yeah, you know, putting Himmler in charge of your country wasn't the best idea when you're now getting invaded by Yugoslavia, a war which you started after getting rid of him. I'm sorry, I can't live in a world where Yugoslavia and Romania and Hungary all team up to take down Germany and win. I, I... Now all we need to do is tactically take all the provinces that don't border with the Russians for reasons that are quite obvious in that I don't want to die. I don't want to be overrun by Russian people all over the entirety of my country, which is not really my country, it's Bulgaria, but I stole it. Oh, the nine circles of hell. Well, I'd like to introduce you to the tenth circle of hell. It's Ethiopian-held Balkans, and Jesus Christ, it is fucking horrifying. Why are everyone still at war with the Soviets have started war? No, no, clear the airwaves. Lithuania declared war on Estonia. The war with the Soviets is a very slow push. We are slowly overrunning their lines and doing some encirclements and killing hundreds of thousands of Soviets in one go. No, it's a... Uh... It's just a usual war with the Soviet. What? Uh, the Turkish alliance is pushing f No, fuck that. We need some more interesting news, like the fact that Estonia's now declared war on itself, as, as if it wasn't bad declaring war on Lithuania. Uh, uh th that might complicate things. Uh, uh sh you, you know... It could be, it could be a lot worse. Well, I guess Hitler or not, some things are just pretty damn inevitable, aren't they, Germany? Well, speaking of inevitable again, Germany's at war with the goddamn Soviets and... Oh, that's just damn rude, isn't it, Germany? Well, things are starting to go our way in the war with the Russians, so we're gonna go ahead and just sneak back into Romania. Nobody ever said that Franco was a clever man because he just declared war on Venezuela, who was guaranteed by the goddamn US. As you can see, we're making a good breakthrough into Russia now, mostly because the Soviets have obviously lost seven million troops trying to beat Afghanistan, so... <laughs> Do I deserve to win this? Probably not. Oh, and yeah, once again, I forgot to record because the Soviets just like to capitulate when fucking ever. So, yeah, there you go. This is the most disgusting thing I've probably done in a while. I won't fucking lie. Well, there we fucking go, all right? If this isn't the most disgusting thing you've seen in a while, then I don't know what else to fucking give you guys, because this... 
it was pretty fucking horrible, but it wasn't actually that hard. Ethiopia actually has a sizable manpower pool and enough industry space for me to actually grow as a country. And as soon as you know how to win the war of Italy, it's pretty easy from there, especially in the road to 56. So if you enjoyed the video, feel free to give it a like. And if you want to subscribe, please do, because I am trying to get 200k by the end of the year. And hey, feel free to leave me another terrible country to play down below. But yeah. Never, never fucking again.